The benefits of, of the MR LINAC over a standard linear accelerator are that we can see the soft tissues uh, very uh, much more clearly. So we can see the, the tumour itself very clearly, we can see the muscles clearly, we can see uh, the, in some cases the nerves but the neurological structures with much more detail than what we can see uh, when we're imaging on a standard linear accelerator. So that allows us to be very sure each day that we're treating the tumour and that we're avoiding the the, the, the structures that we want to avoid, so what we call the organs at risk or the critical structures, that if they get a high dose of radiation, patients can be left with lifelong problems. And in the head and neck region, there are a lot of those critical structures that we need to avoid to avoid the long-term problems. Obviously not in everyone we can, it depends where the tumour is, whether we can avoid some of those structures like the big salivary glands and the muscles of the lining of the throat. But this machine does allow us to see those things and it allows us each day to change the treatment where the treatment is based on changes in the tumour. So both the, the size and the shape of the tumour. So it allows what we call daily adaptation to the cha those changes. Uh, so they're the, the main benefits of the treatment uh, on this linear accelerator. In the long term, we expect it may allow us to both increase the dose where higher dose is needed um, and also to reduce the dose to those critical structures. So what, what we've got here is the tumour. This was the tumour before treatment started and this tumour had come from the palate, the heart palate and was extending upwards to around, around the eyes. And then the, what we can see is this tumour shrinks as treatment goes on. So uh, nearly three weeks into treatment, what we can see is that that tumour has got much smaller. So we can actually change the shape of the area that we're treating to the high dose. Uh, but the thing we can be very sure of is that the tumour is, is within the area we're wanting to treat. But uh, yeah, so if you come back out to show what it was like. So that's three weeks, three weeks into treatment. Um, and then the other thing that this MRI, so this is the MRI scan that we got on the scanner. Uh, if we if we go further up, we can see that uh, this is more of the brain here, and here are the eyes. And what we can see here is the is the optic nerve, which is you know the nerve that leads from the back of the eye, um, and is obviously very important for sight. Now w we can see the location of that in relation to where tumor is and to where we're wanting to give the high dose, which. It's very hard to see that nerve on a standard linear accelerator where we just have very much degrees of grey rather than seeing all the soft tissues very clearly like we can see the ocular, the eye muscles very clearly on this and you can see various parts of the brain with much more detail than you can on a standard linear accelerator.